guys, it's me. I'm back again with a quick review. I'm gonna see if I can try this out on camera. I don't know if I'll really do be able to figure it out, but um, because I've been trying to figure it out and finally gave up and came on camera. Um, anyway, so what I'm trying out today is from Clygenic. Cly it's Clygenic Beauty Tools. So it is basically a set of some of these nifty little things. Now, it's not too expensive a set either. I just blanked on the exact price. Um, I did receive this particular one either free or heavily discounted in exchange for my honest review. But uh, of course, all opinions are completely my own. What's great is it, it comes with a variety of tools. So it's, you know, not just for, uh, you know, scrubbing your pores or what have you. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get into it. Let's go ahead and go through what we have here. This is what it tells me everything is for now. Whether or not I'll figure out how to use it that way remains to be seen. Okay, so tool number one. I've got this nifty little thing. You can see it's got these two little circles on the ends. I was trying to see how close I could get with it, but it keeps focusing on me instead of the uh, tool. But uh, yeah, so this one, it says the loop extractor. Long tool is designed for trapped for extracting trapped sebum, blackheads or whiteheads from various places on the body, such as arms, legs, chest, back, and more. So, there's that. Oh, oh. tells you how to um, get ready for it too. Mm. Or if you use this one the same way you do the other ones, I'll figure it out. Um, so there's that one. There is the one that I was holding a second ago. Oh, actually, no. Let's go. Let's go in order. In the order it tells me. Oh wait, no, that is it. Okay, yep, that that is it. <clears throat> so there's that. This is the angled loop. Side A. This is side A. You use side A for hard to reach places such as the side of the nose, the outer ear, etc. And then you use the flat side for blackheads. This tool has a grip for easy holding. Er, yeah, it does have a pretty nice little grip. This is probably the one I'll use the most because mostly, as you can see, I don't really have any, uh, ooh, I did pull some stuff out. I wish I could zoom in for you guys to see that. It's got little white specks. Um, this is probably the one I'll use the most because I mostly have just clogged pores on my nose and stuff. Uh, let's see. Number three is the one that a lot of people will probably use. Like, I'll probably use it more on, like, different parts of my body than um, on my face because you know, aside from when I get stuff like this stuff right here, I generally don't have too much trouble with major face blemishes, but when I do, they're doozies, so that's why I kind of want to have to play this around. Okay, so this is the third item. There's the Lancet. First of all, here's the whole thing. So it's pretty nifty. Oops, it's got some fuzzy stuck on it. Um, so this one, you use this side to puncture any whiteheads with trap sebum. Then you use the scoop to scoop her out. It says, see important cautions below before use. So you gotta be careful with that one, apparently. And these are all lovely little directions. And there's even a little scanny thing if you need more information about the company. Oh, I'm sorry, get 15% off your next purchase. Ooh. So if you do get this, you can get a discount code with it. Um, okay, so next we have... These ones are kind of square. I just got to figure out which one is which. Ah, okay. So this one, it's the angled loop. You have an angled loop for blackheads or whiteheads in hard to reach places such as the side of the nose. So actually maybe this is the one I'll use. So this one, this side is used for uh, things in hard to reach places like over here on the nose, because I guess it's a little angled compared to the other one. I didn't notice the difference. I'd have to hold them next to each other. Um, but I use it for blackheads or whiteheads in hard to reach places on the side of the nose. And then the flat loop, oh, I got them mixed up. This side is meant to be for, you know, getting 
whiteheads and blackheads in hard to reach places. This one is meant for blackheads. So, yeah, so any of the flat ones are pretty much meant for blackheads, but yeah, we'll see how everything works for me. Ow. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It definitely, uh, definitely did something there. You can kind of see the little bit of goop. Sorry if this is TMI, but you can see the tiny bit of goop from the side of my nose. Huh. Maybe I will try this on camera. Ew, that's kind of gross. <laughs> I'm probably going to use nose strips after this if I can't get everything out. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then, uh, sorry, I got off track. Last but not least, you have Tool 5, which is just a basic... Once again, it's for uh, blackheads and whiteheads. Um, it's the one that's not angled. So this one has no angles to it because it's meant for like, you know, if it's just on your face, so you don't have, in a place where it doesn't have to be at like an angle. Um, so yeah, same thing with this, the small loop for whiteheads and the flat loop for blackheads. And then it's got a different type of uh, handle. So you can kind of tell the difference between them. All right, let's, let's try this one out, the angled one. I think the first the number two was yeah well it says I mean there's both this one and then there's the other one so I guess there's two that are technically kind of for hard to reach places so let's see nothing there maybe it was the other one the other one that worked for me don't worry, I'll be washing all of these. I've been, I did dip them in, uh, you always want to kind of dip them in alcohol. You want to make sure they're clean before you use them. And then clean them after you use them. No, oh, definitely took out goop from my nose. I just wonder how it is when it comes to taking stuff out of the rest of the nose. Ooh, I'm making my nose water here. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, it does kind of hurt a little bit um, doing this, but I guess the way that it says to do it, well, first of all, you always want to make sure that you've done um, some sort of hot compress or, you know, you want to have your face washed. And then um, in my case, I have some warm water here. It's kind of pulled down a little bit now, but I... I did um, open up my pores by holding a nap, uh, paper towel or towel, something something on your nose to kind of open up the pores or hold it in the area where you've got blemishes to kind of open up the uh, pores before you do any of this. So let's see if it does anything for the rest of my nose. Because we know it does stuff on the side of the nose because I just did that. Well, there's a little bit. Just trying to make sure I clean it off in between use because... Otherwise, I can't tell if it's from my side of my nose or if it's actually new stuff. There's a little bit of stuff coming out. I'm not really seeing very much. There's like there is definitely some stuff coming out. Oops, I got like water on my face from the napkin or from the towel. But uh I don't know. Seems like a more painful way to do what pore strips do, but then pore strips are kind of hit or miss too. I mean this is probably meant more for um actual blemishes or like when you get like more obvious white and black heads like for me uh, mine are not all that noticeable yeah I think I might do all this and then do a mask I've got an awesome mask that I'll be posting a review of in the next couple of days but um no this is definitely a good set I mean if you're a little bit more skilled than I am at using it um, it can be definitely be very helpful I do have, I did try it out on this blemish down here, and I did end up getting um, 
the white stuff. Um, I did get white stuff coming out of it, and you know. So, I mean, for me, I don't know if if I'm diligent enough with this stuff to really use this set myself, but there's definitely something really satisfying about doing stuff like this and like scraping it over your pores. I think the set is probably going to be better for someone with a little bit more um, activity on their face than me. I mean, even now you can see, I mean, I keep my pores in pretty good condition. I wonder if I should just let them go for a couple days. But, um, but yeah, for the most part of me, I don't get too many blemishes on my face. I've got, you know, little things like these guys over here, but I don't think that, um, they are really in any condition to be, <laughs> to, to use these. They're not really prominent, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, I mean, overall, the set is really nice. It's definitely a nice high quality set, and I mean, I, like I said, I forget, I forget the exact price of it, but I know that it was pretty reasonable. Um, it's definitely helpful when you're dealing, it's, it's a helpful way to deal with things like blemishes and all that when you um, do get a lot, you know, like if you have a, if you do get breakouts on a regular basis and, you know, it's, it's really bad to do this type of thing. I have a habit of doing this and um, this would be a great way to really do a lot less damage to the skin, especially if you're doing a good job keeping, uh, keeping them clean. And you definitely want to keep them clean and take care of them. Um, you just always want to make sure you do that anytime you put any tools on your face. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's a good set. has a lot of really great tools. I'm going to have to put these away after I wash them. They don't want to go back in the container. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you would like to get your own little set to start taking care of those blemishes or just kind of add to your regime, there is a link down below. Um, also, you know, like I said, like I said, it does come with this awesome little case, so it's it's not like you have to worry about leaving them lying around. You can just wash them, dry them, and put them away, and then you keep them all in one place for whenever you have those major breakouts. I know that I'll definitely be going back to this um, the next time I have like a bigger blemish to uh, use it on. I did try again the extractor on like a couple blemishes, and it did work really well. It definitely scooped. It. I was able to scoop everything out, and sorry for the over overshare, but. Hey, that's what this is about. This is, was not going to be a, a pretty thing to discuss. But um, anyway, once again, I'll link down below. Uh, if you like these type of videos, like me to review things, definitely give me a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe so you can see what I'm putting up next. I uh, also have a funny video of my brother dyeing his hair while I was on vacation too. So definitely stay tuned. I'm getting my videos loaded. And I'll see you next time. Bye.